Okay, this is going to show you Lab 3A. It's Visio for BIS 245. And you start off with this starter file that they give you. You go to the module section, go to Lab 3 Overview, go scroll to the bottom, and then download the Visio starter file. And most of you will be using Visio 2016, and there's a starter file for that or for older versions if you have older versions. This is what the database looks like. You've probably seen this before in our previous labs. What you have to do is add a customers table to it, join it up in a relationship, and then add any required fields and data types along the side. So the way you do that is you grab an entity and you put it on here, call it customers, give it a primary key, <coughs> all cust all entities or tables must have a unique identifier for each row which is a primary key and then you'll put any attributes that they recommend they have cust last name and cust first name and they have other columns as well that they specify in the instructions they're right here all of these columns okay they go in next and whoops then you should make any columns required that should be required for example it doesn't make sense to have a customer that doesn't have a last name or a first name so you select on a column you would like to be required and then right click on its outer border and go to uh, set required that puts it in bold and is a signal to whoever implements this database in access or any other database program that this is supposed to be a required column then the next thing you do is you have to join this up in a relationship and one thing to remember is that there are other columns that you have to put in here plus attributes that I'll show you in a minute but let's do the relationship grab a relationship line put it onto the window right click on it and make it straight I just find it's easier to move it around that way make it 1.5, 1.75 roughly thick so it's easy to see and then you have to get the relationship right. Each customer can place many orders, so that means that the crow's foot goes there on the many side. Just touch the edge so that it lights up green like mine just did. And the one side will touch this side and just make it light up green as well. So that when you move these around, they stay together. Okay. Now, the next thing you have to do is you have to get the foreign key in the right table. The rule you need to memorize, and this is always true, is that the foreign key goes on the many side of the relationship. Please remember that. The foreign key goes on the many side of the relationship. Well, we said each customer can place many orders, so this is the many side of the relationship, the orders table. So what I need to do is I need to add the customer ID in here so that when I look up an order, I can tell which customer it points to. So I grab an attribute like this, and I just put it on the table here at the bottom and it will add attribute name and I type in here customer ID and because it's a foreign key I need to specify it's a foreign key so I right click on it and I go set foreign key which puts an FK right there I right click again and I go set required because I can't imagine having an order without a customer or else who's gonna pay for it right so and then I have to put here uh, what data type it is. So I'm going to put uh, text and it's text 10 everywhere else uh, for primary keys. So I'm going to put text 10 here. This bleeds over onto the next line. Just highlight it and change this to a nine point font and then it'll fit. Okay. So now I've got the relationship, I've got the attribute, I just have to add the attributes to all the columns in the customers table you'll notice that I don't have a column for it yet so what I do is I right click I select the entity customers and then I right click the top border and then I go show attribute types and then I can do the same thing I did in the orders table earlier I click on this int and I call this a text 10 type and I set it to 9 point font and this if you look in the instructions it has this set to a uh, short text 25. I'm okay if you just go text 25. And of course you want to make that nine pointer. 
and we're also going to take go here and we're going to go text whoops did it wrong cust first name go here and make that text 25 highlight that make it 9 points and make sure you add in all the other columns that they ask for here see street city state postal code all that okay and the last thing you have to do is you have to put a verb phrase on the relationship so that when people see it they understand the business rules okay so these relationships and you know the verb phrases and any you know what the nature of the relationship is etc those are considered the company's business rules and we have just implemented this idea that a customer can place many orders but an order can only be placed by one customer that business rule has been implemented here in Visio and when you're done your database looks like this except you've added all of the other customer columns and their data types and you can submit that and you're done